One of Congress's harshest, cr harshest critics of ACORN is Republican Congressman Steve King of Iowa. He even received special mention from Bertha Lewis today. We'll play that clip coming up. I'm sure you'll appreciate that, Congressman. Thanks for joining us. He joins us now from Capitol Hill. What, what bothers you most about ACORN, everything you know about it, Congressman? Well, there's a lot of dissemination of misinformation that comes from right at the top of ACORN. But the thing that bothers me the most is not the promotion of child prostitution and not so much the, um, the corruption that's involved in the toxic mortgages, uh, but in the other enterprises, and ACORN's criminal enterprise that they are in the aggregate. But what they have done to corrupt and undermine the legitimate, legitimate election process in the United States. I mean, they have confessed to over 400,000 false or fraudulent voter registration forms. And now we have prosecutions in Troy, New York, for dozens of fraudulent votes. And they have made a practice of undermining our constitutional republic. Of all the things that they do from a criminal enterprise standpoint, undermining our legitimate elections actually undermines our constitution itself. Well, let, and it could, you know, then it's the most important let thing. Me ask, well, let me ask the key question. Question there, how much effect do you think it had in the last election? Oh, I think it affected some of the elections around the, around the country. I don't know that it affected the presidential election, but one of the things that because the presidential election wasn't as close as it might have been, we didn't scrutinize Acorn, Acorn as closely as we should have. And, you know, the American people have gotten to the point where they'll, they'll uh, tell a couple of jokes about people that are cheating on the elections. They are cheating us out of our freedom when that happens. That should be a very serious offense, and it is a felony, and it needs to be prosecuted everywhere. It just is a very difficult crime to Proof. Now, it's one thing to say you're going to shut down an acorn. It's another thing to do. This is a big ball of string, and it takes a long time to unravel this ball of string. They, they have so many dozens, some people say hundreds, of organizations affiliated with it. Is it possible that they could just enter under different guises and continue to get federal funds uh, by another name? I say it's absolutely possible. Um, the Government Reform Committee issued a list of 361 ACORN affiliates. All of them are not active. Many of them do operate out of the headquarters at 2609 Canal Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm glad that the, uh, the uh, prosecuting attorney in, uh, in, in Louisiana is investigating this, but we need a full court press across the board. This will take so many resources to investigate ACORN. Uh, there are four to six congressional committees in the House that should be commencing investigations right away. One is chaired by John Conyers, the judiciary where I sit. One is chaired the Financial Services Committee by Barney Frank. Both of them have been in, engaged in, I think, uh, delaying, if not promoting, ACORN's access to, fund, to federal dollars. And we also need to have a complete Justice Department investigation. Lamar Smith, the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, has called for a special prosecutor. All of that needs to happen, and I don't know that that's enough to get to the bottom of this and unravel this huge ball of string, this criminal enterprise that reaches into many aspects of our lives and is the get-out-the-vote machine for Democrats, well, and it leads to the President of the United besides States. Besides the get-out-the-vote campaign for, for Democrats, it also here's some of the organizations, the affiliates that are housed in that same building. Uh, the Acorn Housing Corporation, that at least has the word Acorn in it. The Hospitality Hotel Restaurant Organizing Council. Walmart Alliance for Reform Now and the American Workers Associations. Have you gone down that list of 300 organizations, affiliates of ACORN, to see whether any of those groups are getting federal monies? Well, I have actually I've read the entire list and uh, have not been able to go back and into that. What needs to happen is that uh, the, the 990 forms, the requirements of their report, especially for the not-for-profits that are in that list, needs to be pulled. It needs to be audited and examined. And then we've got to come back to the, to the federal government and set up a search mechanism to find out where, what money was actually distributed to which ACORN affiliates. We've got to look at the commingled boards of directors, the commingled management that's there, and the commingled funds that are there. Mm. And we know money's fungible. If it went into one entity, it'll come out the other one, yeah. and it'll be there for a partisan purpose, which should offend Americans. Congressman, I just have to get you to respond to what Bertha Lewis, the CEO of ACORN, had to say to you earlier. Here's, here's her shot, and then we'll get your response. As Representative King has said repeatedly, we've got to keep ACORN in the news. We've got to keep the press interested. You know, we've got to be able to raise money. The RNC, every single day, because we've been inflated as the boogeyman, raises almost $2 million a day, every day. So this is just a money-raising facility for you, ACORN is. 
You know, that's interesting. I didn't know what was going to come. I've not heard that quote, and uh, it's not anything that I am interested in or that involved in at all, and I hadn't even considered that from a Republican fundraising standpoint. But I have considered how important it is that we keep ACORN in the spotlight and all of their affiliates until we get to the bottom of this. Yeah. I think if you look back at Watergate, the Watergate break-in, how that brought down an administration and it lost dozens of Republican seats in Congress, that was one little incident that hardly anybody knew about before the fact. ACORN is thousands of yeah. times more corrupt than Watergate, and the impact of it needs to be thousands of times more devastating than Watergate right. was we, back in 1974. We have to leave, but it begs the question, are you looking for a link to the White House beyond that which we already know? I expect there is, and I expect that Democrats will circle their wagons to defend the White House. I don't know how it doesn't lead to the White House. That's how President Obama got started in the political trade. He's worked for them, he's coached them, and he's hired them, and, and they're linked to the census as well. So I think there are many trails that lead to the White House, and that's one of the reasons that you will see Democrats starting to defend the ACORN and, try, and starting to build this protective shield, much like they did during the impeachment hearings of Bill Clinton. Congressman Steve King, thank you very much, Congressman. Appreciate being here. Thank you. One prosecutor has been working quietly.